And most citizens of the United States share a commonality, and that's the love of an underdog story. Well, in the new Lionsgate film, American Underdog, it is easy to get on board for a story we know very well in St. Louis. Fox News Patrick Clark sits down with Kurt and Brenda Warner to talk about overcoming the odds and their story on the big screen this December. If the story of American Underdog seems familiar to you, arena. it's because maybe you lived through it. The new film, American Underdog, tells the real-life story of Kurt and Brenda Warner, meeting for the first time when he was a fifth-year quarterback for Northern Iowa. Get. Zachary. Okay, I think the biggest thing I take from this movie is that Kurt Warner line dances. Is that right? <laughs> it is right. <laughs> we did not do this movie right. That is the biggest thing you take from this movie and that you have to go tell people about that. But that was uh, one of the links you were willing to go uh, is this is this true? It is so true. Is true. I remember him walking in the bar and everybody like, oh, Kurt's here, Kurt's here. And I thought, I don't want anything to do with that cute young little guy. He had his feathered back hair and all these girls were always around him all the time. And I thought, nothing, I don't want anything to do with him. And he would line dance and do it exactly opposite of everyone else. <laughs> Zachary Levi, who plays Kurt Warner, and Anna Paquin, who plays Brenda, capture the chemistry and charisma of the couple, overcoming odds, tragedies, and the downs and ups of life, which all lead to a Super Bowl championship for the St. Louis Rams. Randy Quaid as Dick Vermeil is a hoot and a holler for fans of the football coach who led the team with his heart. When you came to St. Louis, you were already in love. Do you feel like the city fell in love with you? In love with you? Without a doubt. Uh, I think we all fell in love with each other together. Is They fell in love with the football team. They fell in love with the people that were on that football team. And for me, that was what was so special about that unit is it, it was unique on the field. Obviously, we did some things that we might never see in this game again on the field. But I believe a big part of that was because of the people that they were off the field and the connection that we had. Not overselling their faith in the story, but not hiding their beliefs, the film follows the young, plucky quarterback who would win over Brenda's heart and her children and arena football fans before stepping into the spotlight with the St. Louis Rams, taking over after starting quarterback Trent Green was injured at the beginning of the season. We have a phrase in our family that we often use is never let your circumstances define you. Most people have what we call the supermarket moment, where you find yourself in a place that you never thought you would be, and you wonder how the heck you're going to get to where you want to go from that moment, and that's real life. If there's one thing you'll take away from American Underdog is that it's a familiar story. Merriam-Webster's Dictionary defines an underdog as a loser or predicted loser in a struggle or contest. And in every good story, the underdog is the one you root for, even when the odds are against and adversity all around. And this new film from Lionsgate features a pretty dynamic couple. Feels like one you'd be proud of seeing, especially St. Louis on the big screen, rooting for the underdog who you knew could win all along. In the Del Mar Loop, Patrick Clark, Fox 2 News. I can't wait to see this movie. I'm just glad that they were a part of it to make sure that everything is as yeah. it should be. And I guarantee people are going to find out some things that they didn't know when you thought you knew everything about those. Well, true, because we all lived it right along with them. You know, St. Louis was right there throughout the whole story. Looking forward to it.